Hi everyone, I'm Jason. And I'm Steve. And we've got an exciting new product to talk to you about today, and that's the XD200-2 amplifier. This gigantic thing right here. We actually originally talked to you guys about this product back in March, and it's now shipping. Finally, huh? Yeah. Uh, available at 329 retail. Now, what are some applications of this product? How would you use this in a system? I think one of the most common applications is going to be just to uh, bolt it onto one of our enclosures, like the power wedges, or maybe even uh, couple it up with a stealth box. Okay. Yeah, bridged at 200 watts, um, plenty of power to run a subwoofer. Absolutely. Now, the amplifier is two-channel, so it's 100 watts per channel, so it lends itself to some other applications. And one of those that I think is going to be really popular is in the ATV and power sports market. Absolutely. Uh, don't forget about mo motorcycles, too. Uh, it's going to be really cool because it will fit in a location where most other amplifiers never could. And on a motorcycle, we'll also have a marine version of the amplifier. So it, uh, it's, like, perfect. Yeah. Um, another application, a lot of audiophiles out there just like to have uh, really nice upgraded speakers. Mm -hmm. They don't have the space to put uh, a subwoofer system in their car. So they purchase a nice pair of four-inch speakers, and this is a great amplifier to mate with that. Absolutely. Tucks out of the way, doesn't take up any space, and well, again, it... Cram it up behind a dash, even. Yeah, absolutely, and at 329, it's a great solution. There's one other application, though, that I think it's really going to be popular. There's a lot of uh, factory systems these days um, that are in the market that are really higher end, and... Uh, a lot of times the, the amplifier will go bad in the system. Well, you could just replace it with another factory amp, can't you? Yeah, and how much does that cost? A lot more than this, I'll tell you that. Yeah, usually it's anywhere from 500 to to $1,000, and then you're replacing it with the same factory amplifier. I think one of the problems that we used to face is that aftermarket amplifiers wouldn't fit with a factory amp did, because the factory amp honestly never really had that much power to begin with. So we want to put a powerful amp in, it would just not fit. Right. And uh, a lot of the circuitry, they wouldn't connect and lead, it required a lot of surgery. Right, exactly. And these amplifiers have differential balanced inputs on them, so they're actually well made up with Bose or some of the other factory systems without any crazy interfaces. Nice and easy. But talking about that size, let's actually take a look at a factory amplifier and let's see how it compares. So let's take a look at this factory amplifier. What we have here is a monsoon amplifier out of a Volkswagen. This is your typical factory amplifier, it's about 200 watts, so about 50 watts a channel times four. And for a size reference, let's take the 200 slash two and compare. So with this application that we're trying to point out, typically a customer may come in and their factory amplifier is blown and they don't want to spend 500 to thousand dollars replacing it at the dealership. So with this amplifier, you can obviously from a size standpoint it can fit directly in where that amps mounted in the vehicle easily and then from a pricing standpoint it's three hundred twenty nine dollars from a power standpoint it's two hundred watts it's two channels so you won't have fader control however you have good clean power going to the factory speakers right so this amplifier works great to replace factory amplifiers which is becoming a common trend a lot of these complex factory systems are going bad and um, usually it's the amplifier so Let's, uh, let's give them another reference standpoint for the size. So again, this is your 200 slash two and voila. Oh, that's cool. So again, not any wider than a $100 bill. Or for our friends in England, five pound note. Or for our friends in Canada, $2 bill. Or for our friends in Australia, and, of course, our buddies in Europe. So it gives you a nice size reference in all countries of the world, really. Cool. All right, well, let's show a couple more things about the amplifier. Give me my money back. <laughs> Did you count all your money? Uh, yeah, I think I got it all. I can't find the hundred, though. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it. So, All right, lots of great applications for this amplifier. And, again, it's shipping now, and it's 329 we have another amplifier to talk about. We do indeed. We uh, showed this amplifier to you back in March when we debuted this one, and that's the new 5 channel that's coming out called the XD700-5. Right. It's going to be available in September at a selling price of 549 It's kind of neat because the power configuration, I think when we introduced it way back when, um, we had originally specced it as a 600-5, which would be a 4x75 and a 1x300. But our engineers were able to modify the design slightly to give us a little bit more power into the four main channels. And now we have a 4x100 and a 300 watt sub channel. So a little bit more for your money. And it's a real potent package. Fantastic. It's the same physical size as the six channel amplifier that we already have out. So if you've seen that one, it's the same, same size as that. And what are these guys here? 
These are a new sneak peek for a product that's coming out later in the year. Sometime in December we'll have this one. Um, as you can see, it's the same physical size as the two-channel amplifier, but this is now the M300-1, and this is the XD300-1. So it's a 300-watt monoblock amplifier, which will you know, maybe take some of the applications away from this in terms of uh, coupling it up with the subwoofer enclosure or something like that. But again, another great application for power sports or on, a, on a boat or, again, like Perfect. you said, anyway, a, a stealth box. If you want to put coaster. that, you put one of these. Um, and yeah. this is available when? Uh, we're going to start shipping this in December, and uh, we're not sure of the price just yet, but we're expecting it to be right around the same price as the two-channel. And we'll probably do another launch uh, when this comes out. Yeah, as we get closer, I think there's going to be something else that we might be able to talk about then. And that's all the time yeah, we have I think for. we're out of time. We can't mention that one right now. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining us today. And again, as we always encourage you to bookmark our training page here so you can view all of our trainings. And you can either copy and paste that into your window or just hit bookmark. Yeah. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook. We always have lots of contests for our JL fans and product updates. And also, we have a new YouTube channel. So be sure to follow us on that as well. And as always, we encourage you, if you have questions, please send us your questions, comments. Tell us what you want to see, training at jlaudio.com. Steve and I will make sure we get back to you right away, yep. whatever question you have. Looking forward to hearing from you. See Thanks you a lot. Time.